Here we go again. Iowa lawmakers are once again looking at putting a stop to speed and red light cameras in the state. Republican senators have been trying to ban the traffic enforcement cameras for years and they're not giving up. KCCI chief political reporter Cynthia Fodor is live at the state house. Well, Laura and Steve, in the past two days here, both bills in the House and Senate have cleared their first hurdles to try to start putting the brakes on those speed cameras. When you drive over the speed limit past 42nd Street on the freeway, through Windsor Heights or certain traffic lights, you know by now you won't get stopped, but will get caught. It sends a ticket if you're just a few miles over. Mm -hmm. I've gotten a few of them myself, so. It's annoying, you know, I've gotten a couple of tickets from them, but if it's going to help make the road safer, sure. John Jameson had to pay a couple of hundred dollars after loaning his car to a friend. And they drove past one of those uh, mobile speed cameras, and then, so they got a ticket going that way, and they took the same way back, and they got a ticket coming back, so I got two tickets in a row. You, know. you weren't driving? No. Uh -uh. Senator Jake Chapman, who is pushing for a ban on the cameras, says vehicle owners are presumed guilty without due process. This is about money, and this is about uh, certain private companies generating money uh, off of people speeding. Des Moines Police Chief Dana Wingard has been at the State House fighting the ban. He says the crash data from I-235 here proves the cameras improve public safety. On eastbound, where our traffics are and the warning signs, in 2018 we had eight crashes in the a half mile stretch. In that same stretch westbound where there's no enforcement, no signage, no warning signs, we had 56 crashes. It helps with, helps with uh, you know, decreasing speeds, uh, you know, which are uh, the number one uh, contributor to crashes. Now I'm hearing from lawmakers here in these hallways today that the House and Senate seem to disagree again this year. The House seems to favor regulating the traffic cameras while the Senate wants to ban them altogether. So we will continue to follow this throughout this session. Laura.